The Beckett T501 multipurpose gauge is designed for use on Beckett AF, AFG, AFD, SF, SM, and AF2 burners. T501 gauge tip settings. To use the T501 gauge properly, it is important to know what head style is on the burner. Use the electrode tip setting reference chart shown here. The alternate L1 electrode settings are the same as the L2 electrode settings. The N in the air tube combination or ATC code denotes the alternate L1 electrode settings. See the example. Note, the electrode settings do not change with the nozzle spray angles. See individual burner instruction manuals for more details. To use the T501 gauge, follow these step-by-step -step procedures. Step 1. Disconnect all power to the oil burner. Step 2. To position the electrode tips in front of the face of the nozzle and above the center line, select one of the two appropriate cross marks as determined by the type of flame retention head. You'll be setting only one of the tips. Be careful not to scratch the nozzle face. Step 3. F, FBX, L1, and V1 head settings are set by aligning the electrode tip with the 5 16 inch cross marks shown. Step 4. HLX or AF2 head settings are set by aligning the electrode tip with the mark shown. Step 5. To set the electrode tip gap to 5 30 seconds of an inch, place the gauge so that the first tip is on one of the tip gap marks as shown. Adjust the remaining tip to the other mark. Step 6. To check that the nozzle is approximately centered with the head inside diameter on F and FBX heads, place the gauge in the head and note the gauge center mark location with respect to the nozzle center. Rotate the gauge and check several positions. For HLX, AF2, L and V heads, align the edge of the gauge with the inside diameter of the head and note the location of the gauge center mark with respect to the center of the nozzle. Step 7. The Z or zero dimension is important because it locates the nozzle for the precise relationship with the combustion head. To set the Z dimension for F and FBX heads, position the gauge as shown and loosen the nozzle line electrode assembly so that it can be moved forward or backward in the air tube until the nozzle becomes flush against the gauge. Tighten the nozzle line escutcheon plate screw to lock this Z dimension. Step 8. To set the HLX or AF2 nozzle to head position, loosen the set screw, allowing the head assembly to be moved forward and backward. Set the gauge against the head as shown. Move the head assembly until it makes contact with the nozzle face and tighten the set screw. Step 9. Set the Z dimension to 1 and 3 8 inch on the L1 head or L2 head by placing the gauge edge against the leading edge of the head and aligning the S mark with the end of the combustion straight shaped shroud. Set the Z dimension to 1 and 3 quarters inch on the L1 head or L2 head by placing the gauge edge against the leading edge of the head and aligning the C mark with the end of the combustion conical shaped shroud. Step 10. The V-head utilizes a two-piece adjusting plate. To set the Z-dimension at 1 and 3 quarters inch on the V-1 head, first place the adjusting plate in the zero position and tighten the mounting screw. Loosen the acorn nut and the spline nut on the second plate to permit the nozzle line free movement. Step number 11. Place the gauge edge against the leading edge of the head and align the C mark with the end of the combustion shield as shown. Tighten the acorn nut and the spline nut. Never loosen the acorn nut again. The Beckett T501 multipurpose gauge can also be used to check and set the proper gap between the AF2 motor and blower wheel. The gauge can also be used to check the AF2 firing pin stop screw lengths. To check, Place the bottom edge of the firing pin head against the edge of the gauge 
and read the number indicated on the gauge at the end of the pin. This number should be the same as the number stamped into the head of the firing pin. If further assistance is needed, please contact our Technical Service Department at 1-800-645-2876 or email us techservice at beckettcorp.com.